SPRC is a part of Stanford University, which right from its beginning uh, really focused on uh, providing a practical education for its students. Uh, one of the goals of Leland Stanford was to uh, provide an education for students on the West Coast going into professional op occupations like uh, medicine, law, business, engineering, and science. And uh, SPRC continues along with that tra uh, tradition by uh, providing the opportunity for students to work very closely with our affiliates, which are commercial companies that are interested in doing research uh, on campus and working with Stanford researchers on problems which they can help identify, which are important to their commercial pursuits. This helps the students uh, become exposed to the scientific and technical problems that are current and relevant to the commercial sector, and it also allows the, our affiliates to identify students that they would like to hire as employees and provides them the opportunity for internship and training. So it's a unique interface between some really practical uh, applications of the science, basic science and engineering that is taught at Stanford uh, and the, uh, the commercial sector. I'm Bob Beyer, Professor of Applied Physics at Stanford University, and I'm the co-director of the Stanford Photonics Research Center, SPRC. And my research is on lasers and advanced lasers for what we call nearly impossible problems. One of those is laser fusion for energy. We've been working on that with Lawrence Livermore Lab over the last decade. And the more recent progress is on laser accelerators so that we can use laser accelerators to generate X-ray lasers, a unique source of coherent light in the X-ray spectral range. What's unique about research at Stanford is that we have a, an interaction with industry, an interaction with our colleagues and other universities around the world, and we attract really some of the best students in the world into our research environment. This is an interesting and very exciting place to work. My name is Meredith Lee. I am a PhD student in the Department of Electrical Engineering. I work on miniaturized optical sensors to detect uh, biomolecules. Uh, my work focuses on photonic crystals, which are periodic uh, materials that can guide the flow of light. And so we use those photonic crystals to create a resonance, and when a molecule binds on a surface, we can detect that optically. Um, it's an interdisciplinary project, so it involves the medical school as well as electrical engineering and applied physics. And uh, so one of the great parts of working at a place like Stanford is that you have a lot of different uh, people from many different backgrounds. My name is Kevin Loki. I'm currently a postdoc uh, in the Stanford School of Medicine. And as part of my dissertation research, uh, I worked with three groups at Stanford. The first was the Stanford Photonics Research Center. Uh, the second was the Stanford Biorobotics Lab and the third was the Stanford Institute for Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine. And so the three groups worked together on a very interdisciplinary project uh, to use imaging and image analysis to study early human developmental biology um, as well as stem cell development. Uh, and this started off as a research project um, and eventually turned into, uh, through the SPRC and access to the venture community, um, a startup company that we're now launching. Um, and so the, the three groups brought a lot of different expertise to the project. Uh, the SPRC brought the imaging and the optics components. Uh, the biorobotics lab brought instrument design and computer vision algorithms. And then of course we did all of our experiments over at the Stem Cell Institute and had them do the molecular analysis. My name is Stephen Block. I'm a professor here at Stanford University in the departments of biology and applied physics. The work I do lives across the borders between physics and biology. We're interested in problems that biologists care about. How is genetic information transferred? How do we live? How do we move? How do we reproduce? But the tools that we use are the tools from physics. The tools specifically that we use involve microscopes and lasers. In the last 10 years, it's become possible to do experiments that were only pipe dreams a few decades ago. And those experiments are called single molecule biophysics. We can literally study individual proteins, nucleic acids, under the microscope using tools that involve lasers. And one of these tools is called the optical trap or optical tweezers, using an invisible beam of infrared radiation from a laser. You can use the force of radiation pressure to grasp and manipulate small material and move it under the microscope. In our case, we can grab molecules like RNA polymerase, the enzyme that reads the genetic code, attach it to a small bead, and watch it move in real time. 
We do this on a very, very fine scale. It requires exceptional stability. We've been able to watch RNA polymerase literally move from one base pair to the next along a molecule of DNA, climbing the double helix, literally a base pair at a time. These steps are only three and a half angstroms apiece. To put that in perspective, that's only three and a half times the diameter of a hydrogen atom. As you might imagine, this requires a laser of exceptional stability. And so the laser was, lasers we use are rather, rather, rather special, and so is the laboratory. It has to be uh, isolated against vibration, against noise, against everything else. Um, we have been successful, and we've been successful in part to the, uh, to, to the collaboration that has involved in Spark. Here at Stanford, we have great colleagues doing great experiments with great students. It's hard not to be excited when all around you at a, at a university like this, there's so much going on. But Spark affords us some special advantages as well. It gives me contact with colleagues who were working on the latest generations of lasers, which have all the properties that we need to do our work. And so it's these kinds of collaborations that allow us to do the very specialized things with, with devices, for example, that haven't even hit the market yet. And so I enjoy my collaborations, I enjoy my students, and I especially enjoy being at a great place which does great science. My name is Tom O'Sullivan. I'm a graduate student at Stanford in the Department of Electrical Engineering. And my research is related to optical biosensing in the sense that we're trying to miniaturize components of a fluorescence imaging system or a fluorescence sensing system small enough so that we can um, integrate it on a chip and put it inside living subjects. Now, one reason to, to do that is, is you want to collect, when you're running experiments um, to understand you know, how new drugs work or to understand a disease model, to understand how cancer is growing or to understand a new chemotherapy, um, you know, we do that testing in, um, in animal subjects um, and you want to be able to collect data about that process to fully understand it. So from a technology side, I'm a semiconductor physicist and we can make these components small enough so that we can monitor these processes inside live animals um, to see how um, these new drugs are working and to see how disease is progressing and to better understand um, different aspects of biology. Now one day the hope is is that with these miniaturized sensors that you could implant them in perhaps patients one day, people who are at risk for uh, certain diseases, and monitor that data in real time, continuously, so that if they get some sign of um, that disease showing, for example a cancer cell, that the clinic could know immediately and that you can start treatment and hopefully prevent uh, the progression of that disease. Now what's great at a place like Stanford and SPRC is that um, everything here for that type of interdisciplinary research is on campus. Um, of course, fantastic engineering, but also the hospital and the medical school is literally right across the street. So when I go in the semiconductor fab and make my chip, I can put, you know, put my equipment together on a cart, push it across the street, and go to the hospital and work with animal models, work with patients, and then maybe one day go further across the street to the business school and you know, pursue, that, pursue that aspect of it too. And really, SPRC makes that happen, makes all those groups talk together, and what's really is unique at uh, an institution like Stanford. I'm Phil Buxbaum. I'm an atomic physicist here at the Stanford Photonics Research Center. Uh, my research right now is involved with a new kind of laser and the research that we can do with it, uh, a free electron X-ray laser. I'm uh, leading a team that's trying to understand how to do research on a machine that's a billion times brighter than any X-ray source that we've ever had before. Uh, being able to do this here with the support of the broad community of SPRC is extremely important because not only do we have experts in laser technology, accelerator technology, detector technology, the technologies that are necessary to do research, but we also have a very close tie-in to the eventual applications, both research and commercial applications, for that kind of research. Uh, one can uh, imagine in the near future what we may be using such an X-ray laser for. Uh, we can image, for example, can image materials on the, the nano scale, on the scale of a few atoms, or even down to the level of an atomic bond, uh, without putting them into a crystal. So we can go beyond protein crystallography, look at things that can't be crystallized on that scale. We can also look at extremely dense materials. And um, both of these uh, aspects are things that we're interested in here at SPRC.